This video is lighting the burners on the uh, 10 burner stove. We've got some uh, reminders up here above just to let you know that uh, as soon as you turn the gas on this thing, you want to make sure you start lighting those pilot lights immediately. You know, you've got 10 burners and 10 pilot lights, so it's going to pump out a decent amount of gas. You're going to have some air in the line, so I'll show you how you can just purge that by opening up one burner and then lighting the rest of the pilots. All right, let's familiarize ourselves with the knobs. You got a series of knobs on the left, on the right, and in the middle. And when you use the left side knob, it's always the rear burner. So this would be rear, this would be front, this would be rear, this would be front. Okay, same thing with over here. Left is rear, right is front, and uh, we don't want to touch the oven. So, but now that you've familiarized yourself with knowing what they are, we got to turn the gas on, and there's a little trick on this. The oven is so big that the gas valve is a little tough to get to. So what we need to do is just remove this middle burner grate. And back here, you're going to see a gas valve. You can see it's off right now. So just reach in there. You got plenty of room for your arm. And turn that to the on position. Once it's in the on position, you don't want to waste any time. So let's go ahead and purge it. We'll turn on the left burner here and light the back. All right. And now all we got to do is we know it's purged. Let's go ahead and light all our pilots. Get them, make sure they're all lit. Doesn't matter if you're using them or not. You got to light them all. Okay, so you've got those all lit. Now you can go ahead and you can use your uh, use your stove. When you're done, all you have to do is go ahead and uh, turn off the uh, gas valve in the back. You may find it easier to go ahead and just turn off your main gas valve and uh, that way you're going to stop any uh, pilots going and let it cool down and then make sure you go ahead and get back here and remove that burner and move that from straight up and down to perpendicular and now it's off and pilots are out Both gas valves are off. Now you don't have to worry about any gas leaking from the stove once you've shut it down. All right, now we're gonna show you how to light each individual oven, okay? You already know how to turn on the gas at the main and behind the stove. So go ahead and do that and light your pilots like I showed you. Make sure they're all lit before you continue, all right? Once you make sure that all your pilots are lit, the next thing you're going to do is, uh, let's close this, give ourselves a little bit of room. If you look at this oven knob, you can see that right here, if you turn it to that position, that's the ignition. You can see it's got a little spark or whatever. Trust me, it isn't automatic. You're going to need your uh, lighter. But what you do is, it's, it's similar to a deep fryer in a way. You turn it to ignition, you hold it in while you're going through an access hole down here. Let's turn this off for now. All right, and by the way, you have to give this a little push to get it to go off. And the reason for that is, is once you get your pilot lit and your thermal couple warmed up, if you turn this, if you push this and turn it off, well, what's gonna happen is there's a good chance your pilot light's gonna go out. So always keep it to this or higher. So let's turn it off for now and each oven has an access plate. Just lift up and swing it out. All right, and this is where you're gonna be lighting the pilot while you're pushing in that knob. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm going to set my camera up so I've got two free hands and uh, I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, so we turned down both gas valves. We got all our pilots lit. We come down here and we make sure that our access panel is open and we go over to our oven knob, which is your middle one. We're going to turn it counterclockwise until it stops. And what we're going to do is, is I'm going to hold this in. I'll let it out for now. I'm going to hold that in while I am lighting the oven pilot down below through the access hole. All right, so we hold in our oven knob on the ignition portion of the knob, and then we go in here with our lighter. All right, and you know, you may have to wait until it purges out, but you'll see it. Let's go ahead and take a peek in there. And there it is, it's lit. Now, same thing as anything with a thermocouple. We want to let this run for about a minute, and once that heats up enough, we should be able to rotate our knob to any temperature. All right, so now let's turn our own knob, the middle one. You got to push in a little bit to get it off of the ignition. We'll put it at 300. And we'll go back and check our light. And sure enough, our oven is on. All right, and that's it. Now, opposite for shutting it down, we're going to rotate it clockwise, then we're going to push it in and make sure that it's off. Remember I said before that if you turn it, it's going to want to stop at the pilot and you're going to have to push it in to get it to go off. Now you're safe to go ahead and uh, shut off all your gas valves. Go behind your middle burner, shut that one off, shut off your main, and that's it. That's how you light the ovens. Same procedure for the oven on the right. Uh, no difference at all. All right, so we turned off our main gas valve. Our pilots are off. Be careful, this could be hot still. We'll show you what that valve looks like again when it's on. It's straight up, and we got to reach in. We got to turn it clockwise, 90 degrees until it stops and there you go you're safe and that's it that's how you uh, turn on the 10 burner stove and the ovens as well just remember to shut these access points just swing them up and uh, they'll drop down in